Hey, what's going on guys? So if you saw the previous video on my channel, you would have seen this guitar in action, this gent stick of a guitar. And I was seeing a lot of questions from you guys. You were asking about it. You wanted to know more about it. So I figured I'd do a really quick in-depth look at this guitar, why I made it and what it's made of. If you haven't seen the video yet where I use this, just go to the previous video on my channel and you can watch it and you can see it in action. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So last year I made a video called Gent 2015 and I was using my Ibanez guitar, just a normal six string guitar, only I used uh, 0.70 gauge strings for all six. And I called it Gent 2015. It was a joke, it was meant to be funny. So I was thinking I would do a uh, follow up video to that and how I could make it a little bit more interesting. I didn't want to just use a seven string guitar or an eight string guitar because that's kind of just a, people use those a lot. It's a standard guitar to use. So I wanted to do something a little bit more extreme, a little bit more comedic. So I actually had a custom guitar made specifically for the video. And this guitar is what came out of the shop. Um, there's only one of these made, it's one of a kind. I mean, if you wanna make one, you probably can if, if you know someone who makes guitars. So this is an ash body. It's a maple neck and it has a bone nut on it. The guy that made it said he's not entirely sure of the pickup because it was just lying around his shop. He hadn't, no idea what it was, but he says he think it's a DiMarzio pickup. It's a 36 inch scale length and it has one hip shot tuner at the top. The neck is actually a bass guitar neck and he sawed off the sides to get it to guitar width. The bridge piece on here actually was not the bridge that was originally set up for the guitar. I had a normal bass string on it. I believe it was a .130, but I wanted something a little bit more ridiculous. So when he got this 220 gauge string, he actually had to make a different bridge to accommodate the size of the string. It's a bolt on neck. It has all working electronics, obviously the volume knob, there's no tone knob, but I mean, I don't know if the tone knob would really be uh, necessary for this guitar and there's only one pickup on it. The string I got from a company called Calium. I met them at NAMM. It was actually, if you guys saw that video of the 24 string bass guitar, uh, that's the same company that makes these strings, is Calium. So I felt it necessary to get a much larger string and be even more ridiculous than this guitar already is. Now obviously this guitar is meant to be satire, it's meant to be comedic, it's not meant for an actual functioning guitar. I'm not in no way, shape or form saying this is an amazing guitar. It literally has no real function other than the video that I used it for. Um, so I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it after this, but I felt that, hey, you know what? Go big or go home, right? So I noticed in my previous video where I use this guitar, you guys wanted to hear what it sounds like clean. So I'm just gonna play a little bit for you and you'll see what it sounds like.
Essentially, it just sounds like a really low bass guitar. Which, with this string, that's essentially what it is. It's a ridiculous, pointless, and ultimately useless one string bass guitar. But yeah, here it is. I wanna give a huge shout out to my buddy, Mark Stockwell, for making this guitar for me. He has his own company called Stockwell Guitars. Fluff and I both take our guitars to him. He sets them up. He does really, really amazing work. And he's also very good at doing ridiculous things like this guitar here. Um, I'll put a link in the description to his YouTube channel. You guys can go check out the stuff that he does. His work is phenomenal. If you ever need a custom guitar made, hit him up. He really does great and amazing work. Also, a huge shout out to Callium Strings for making strings this big and making this video and this guitar even possible. It was a lot of fun for me to do this and it was meant purely, purely for fun. I mean, this, I would never <laughs> actually use something like this. It's absolutely ridiculous. I also want to give one last quick shout out to my good friend Drusef Stalin for mixing the song because I'm sure that was no easy task. I don't know how you would properly mix a song that's tuned, you know, two octaves below E. That's absolutely insane. So I want to give a huge shout out for him for making it sound listenable. He did an amazing job. I'll put his channel in the description below too. He does a lot of music stuff on his channel as well. A lot of Jen stuff. He's a really, really funny guy. So go check him out. As far as recording that song, it was actually pretty simple to do as most of the parts were just me hitting the low string. Um, I tuned it and then I just played it. There were certain parts where they actually had uh, different notes to it, which um, I'm not good with uh, fretless guitars. I've never really played one. So I, I was kind of just going off ear, you know, just by listening to it, seeing how it sounded. And I guess it turned out okay. Um, obviously there are some spots that are a little bit of out of tune, but whatever it happens. I record it just like any other song. I did left guitar, right guitar, and then I did a center bass track, but it was all done on the same guitar. <clears throat> and then, yeah, as far as mixing goes, if you want to know more about how it was mixed, um, go hit up Drusev Stalin and ask him because he's the guy who did it and he knows exactly what he put on it to make this ridiculous guitar sound decent. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. If you haven't seen the Gent 2016 video, it's the previous video on my channel. Look it up. You'll be able to hear this thing in action. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.